hello everyone I am back with a new tutorial today so I'm going to show you now how you can create an SSL certificate in AWS and use it e for free for lifetime it's an uh, it's an service complementary service from AWS that if you use uh, CloudFront or Elastic Load Balancer then you can use the AWS certificate manager for free with a technical cost so let's get started first we need to set up an EC2 instance here um, so uh, let's go to EC2 so I'm going to create a new EC2 instance I go to launch instance I select Amazon Linux 1 T2 micro okay I keep all the default as it is and then go to advance we need to install Apache PSP and uh, MySQL so I have copied all those commands previously so let's just copy this and put into the advanced settings uh, this will install all those uh, servers for you and uh, you can just use this as a default script so let's uh, go next I choose 8 gigs and then add tags I create a tag here then I create the name okay I give uh, my IP whitelisted HTTP anywhere and HTTPS also anywhere then I go next launch I select the key pair that has already downloaded so I have acknowledged this launch instance great so my instance is launching it might take one or two minutes so um, while it's launching I do some other steps as well so to generate a uh, certificate you need to uh, go to certificate manager click in these services and type certificate manager as you can see it's popped up here then I click on uh, I need to go to uh, in Virginia for the certificates you need to go to in Virginia because there is uh, it's taken from CloudFront so uh, I need to request for a new certificate request a public certificate yes we are going to use it for public website not private so it's public okay then I give the name the name of my blog is um, domain name is blog dot and s h o p s dot com let me verify here yeah setsandshops.com I just copy to avoid typing mistakes okay then I go to next DNS validation yes I am going to add a new DNS record confirm the request continue okay so uh, to verify my, uh, that I am the owner of this particular domain I need to uh, add some DNS records so uh, this might take some time so what you have to do it's uh, it's just you need to copy these uh, values uh, that has been given by AWS to you as a CNAME records and need to add those into your uh, DNS let me reload here
okay um, let's expand so I need to add this CNAME record to my DNS and this value so let's copy here Control C and I need to create a CNAME add a new record I need to cut out the domain name sites and shops because it's already here so I just take after from blog TTL it's one hour okay then I copy the value which is here control C and then paste the value okay now save okay I have saved it so it might take some time to validate but uh, we can see here the progression by just refreshing it's painting okay so let's wait for this in the meantime I set up the WordPress website in the EC2 and uh, set up the certificates over there so my EC2 is up and running so uh, let's connect to the EC2 instance go to downloads then I connect to the EC2 instance pm file EC2 user okay great and now I have connected to the uh, EC2 instance now I'm going to uh, go to the public root directory so var dub 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 html yeah. so um, now I need to uh, download oh, so I need to go one step up okay, here. here the html so I need to download the wordpress so uh, this is the WordPress uh, version that I am using 5.1.1 so uh, this can change so if you are using a different version you can just change this URL and then you can download this so let's paste it okay yeah now uh, I have downloaded the WordPress it's fast let's see it is clear the log and unzip okay, so we have unzipped our wordpress into wordpress directory now i'm going to rename this to html so um, to, uh, html to html html old okay great now I am going to uh, create an uh, install a MySQL server so let's install a MySQL server for this version what is latest here okay so it's mysql 5.7 that I'm going to use yes <coughs> it is installing mysql 5.7 and then I'm going to secure the mysql so mysql secure
okay I just put a password from uh, password generator My spell has been started. Let's start the secure process. Okay. So um, securing my school so far. Connected to my school so far. password. Yes. Validate password plugin. No, at this moment. Uh, no. New password. Uh, I just press the new password here. re-enter new password okay. remove anonymous users yes login remotely yes test database yes reload privilege tables now yes all done okay so now my SQL server has been started so uh, let's let's see I have my certificate has been installed or not. If I go to certificate manager and I do reload. Okay, my certificate has been installed. So uh, I can use this certificate for my blog. So now I go to uh, CloudFront. Fun. it's a CDN service by AWS so um, using this public domain I will create a cloud front here create a cloud front distribution here HTTP only that's fine compress object yes yeah here it is important alternative domain this or c name this is the domain of my blog so, so blog <laughs> dot okay and then for certificate i will use the certificate that i have created so here as you can see i can see my certificate Okay. Okay, let's create the distribution. Okay, it takes time some time to create the distribution and let's go through our uh, main process here. Okay. Uh, let's set the file permissions. So switch on If I browse uh, to this URL, let's see what I can do here. Great, so this is my WordPress installation area. So let's go to install the WordPress database name WordPress, uh, username. Let's give the root user password is the password that I have used. So let's copy the password and uh, put in the password area. Database host, local host, and they will be fixed. Let's, let's try if we can connect. Cannot select database. Okay, I need to uh, create the database first. So let's connect to my SQL server. Yes. 
right here yeah and then uh, schema like this okay so let's try again there was name of this root uh, the password is this host is localhost your prefix wp Okay, uh, it says it has been created, but it doesn't have permissions to modify the WP config file. So let's manually edit the WP config. Remove the old file. So we can just create a new file here. wp config.php. Okay. File content they have provided here. So I just copy this. And paste here. So that's clear. Then uh, random installation. Let's continue. Okay, I'll put the site title here. Tips blog. Yes. I put in a username here. Yes. Uh, random numbers. Let's select. select. Okay. And then password. I choose the same password as it's here. You can choose any password as you want, it's not mandatory. And I choose an email address, okay, install WordPress. Save it. Okay, now I'm going to log in to the system. Great, my WordPress setup is done and uh, this is my uh, front end. So <coughs> now I'm going to link this website via the cloud form. So if I go here, I have a uh, peer term and CNAME here. So I just need to use uh, this domain name as an alias for blog. of the cloud front URL and then save okay um, the cloud front takes some times uh, usually I think five to ten minutes so let's pause the video and I come back again when this cloud front setup has been completed okay I am I'm back so I have changed the CNAME record for blogs.sitesandshops.com and it's now pointing to CloudFront, which has uh, the, the certificates that is uh, issued by the certificate manager. So let's refresh this page. So as you can see, this is uh, HTTPS, and uh, the page is now. If I see, click on the icon, its connection is secure. So it is HTTPS, and the certificate is um, it's valid and it's issued from Amazon. If you see this it's issued from Amazon so this certificate is a valid certificate and it's issued by Amazon so uh, this is an example I have given a just simple example how you can use uh, AWS certificate manager to uh, how you can use AWS certificate manager to uh, load the full uh, full page of of that site using uh, using this uh, <coughs> cloud front so uh, I hope this this will help you to uh, use HTTPS in your blog. Thank you for watching your video and have a nice day. Bye.